welcome back to the Iron Eagle Trike channel. We are heading out to the airport despite the fact that it's not good flying weather. Um, Chloe and I are going to help Bob do a little bit of maintenance on the pair motor. We've even got our sweet little golden doodle with us, Leo, our new little puppy. He's 10 weeks old. Um, so we're just going to go out to the hangar and Bob's going to do some maintenance that was recommended by one of the ventures on the Pallini something. 303. <laughs> so we're going to change the gear oil and tighten, make sure the uh, head screws and head bolts are tightened down to specs. So stay tuned. So hey guys, as Tanya said in the intro, we're going to be doing some maintenance on the Pallini 303 and thought I'd just make a video just to show people some of the really basic stuff to do. So the only thing I'm doing today is going to tighten the head bolts and screws and then we're going to change the gear oil out. So the first thing I'm going to do is tighten the head screws and bolts and the first ones I'm going to do are the screws. So if you look at the Pelini manual that's set for 12 Newton meters, um, I actually went and bought a really good um, AC Delco torque wrench. I have a Harbor Freight one, um, which is great for doing, I had it originally for my motorcycles and a lawnmower repair and stuff like that. Um, but I watched some YouTube videos where they were up to 30% off on some things and mine did not even come with a, a calibration card with it. So this one comes with a calibration card saying it was plus or minus 2%. Um, and it was rated as uh, really good ones. It was a little more pricey and stuff, but uh, I think it's worth it when you're dealing with aviation and my butt is sitting in this machine. So I want to make sure these settings are exactly where they should be. So again, as you can see here, we got head bolts and head screws. The screws need to be tightened to 12 Newton meters or I believe 8.8 .8 foot pounds and the bolts need to be tightened to 18 newton meters and i forget what the uh, setting is for that in foot pounds but i'm setting everything in newton meters uh, per the manual All right, now we're going to do the nuts at 18 Newton meters. All right, so we did bring our little 10 week old golden doodle out with us, like I said before. Chloe's been working with him on sit and stay, or I'm sorry, sit and down. Sit. Good, Good boy. boy. Good boy, Leo. He's learning. Sit. Good boy, good sit. Okay, down. Get my fingers too, too far. Down. Still got a little work to do, but he's only 10 weeks old. Trying he's a good hard. boy for how old he is. Okay, so I've loosened up, hand loosened the fill screw as well as the uh, top screw where you fill it from. When I said the fill screw before, I meant the, the fill line. Mm -hmm. yeah. okay. Got it. So there should be about 100 cc's of oil in there. I marked that on another cup just so I got an idea to make sure it's about right as far as that goes. And then I will use the other cup. I forgot a funnel 
So Tanya, my wife, is going to do the pouring because she has much steadier hands than I do. So like I said, it's only about 100 cc's, which is less than a quarter cup. It's not much. And I'll show you the gear oil I'm using here in just a sec. This is the oil that I'm going to put back in for the gear oil. It's a 10W40 weight motorcycle oil. It is what Polini recommends. A couple of versions, but neither of those versions are sold in America. But this is the closest thing that matches up. It's a motorcycle oil that is also used for clutches and stuff like that. So it's a, it can be used for a gear oil as well. All right, guys, there you can see the difference. On the left is the new oil. On the right is the used oil and it's it's a big difference so even after just uh 10 hours of use you can you can see how much has changed there so we're gonna put the 100 cc's of the new oil in there fill it till it starts coming out the uh little fill indicator and that's it it's easier than changing motor oil on a car Here. and you fill there Okay, stop. It's coming out already. How much you got left? Oh, perfect. All right, last thing is to put in the cap on the top and tighten it down. Last but not least, give everything a good cleanup in case you got any oil anywhere, especially on the muffler, because that'll get hot and burn it off. So get as much oil off of that as you can. It'll burn off too. All right, and that's it. Piece of cake, very easy to do. Hey guys, so we're finished up with the family paramo paramotor maintenance. <laughs> that's gonna be a blooper. Um, didn't take long at all. It was actually a lot easier than we thought, changing the gear oil out and stuff. Um, took us all with filming and everything about an hour, but, and we got some dog discipline in there, or dog training. And then we went over to the fuel farm at the airport and got some ab gas for my can just to make sure I was ready to go for the next time I go out there and go flying and check everything out. So next time I fly, I'll probably go up for about 20, 30 minutes and then land and uh, check, make sure I don't have any leaks um, on the, those screws that I took out to replace the gear oil. And that was about it. But I think we all had a good time dog got a little hot got sunny out there afterwards she got tired and just wanted to lay around after that so that's about it take care we'll see you next time <laughs> bye bye, -bye.